welcome back. It's a, another dip into the homebrew scene. Uh, this time, two games uh, for you from Alan Turvey. Now, they've been out a while now, about a month or so. So I'd like to thank um, Alan for uh, bringing them to my attention. They sort of passed me by when they uh, they first came out. The games are Terrapins and Inv AGDers, uh, or Invagders, um, which is the word Invaders with AGD, the initials of the arcade game designer um, utility um, sandwiched into the uh, shoehorned into the title there now as you can see is um, assistance with the music has been uh, provided by David Sapphire and also Craig Howard has helped out with some of the graphics here now this is a uh, kind of homage to an old arcade game called Turtles which um, Alan was a fan of and that he didn't think it ever been done um, proper justice uh, on the spectrum i don't know it at all this game is really 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 uh, fun you basically play a terrapin and you've got to enter a building there you go there's said building and you've got to clear each floor rescuing all the terrapins that are hidden or sorry uh, that are stranded on each floor take them to a safe part of the uh, the map and then um, once you've located all the uh, the baby terrapins etc that's that particular level over now um, as you can see from the gameplay here you are pursued around the level by some pretty daft um, bugs that don't have um, an awful lot of uh, brain about them but um, it's easy enough to get yourself sort of sandwiched and caught uh, between them with no sort of way out etc now you can uh, bamboozle them you can uh, foil their efforts to pursue you by laying some bombs in their paths which will not kill them it will just temporarily stun them and whilst they're stunned you can move past them and they come incredibly ha come in incredibly handy as you can see there's one just going over there now you can only have one active bomb at a time you can only carry uh, one terrapin at a time um, if you lay a bomb, you cannot lay another one until such time as um, it's activated by one of the terrapins, sorry, by one of the bugs, or you lose a life. Now, as you can see, hiding behind some of those question marks are other bugs, which um, add to the, uh, to the sort of chaos that can ensue in the level. And they appear to be um, entirely randomly generated, which means you never know what you're going to get and you can't sort of say, oh, right, OK, I won't go for that one because that's got a bug in it. Um, sometimes um, there are quite a lot of bugs that you uncover straight away. Other times, you know, there'll be hardly any and you'll manage to save each and every Terrapin on the level and get through the game. Now, it is really, really, really good fun. It's got quite a bit of challenge to it. It's deceptively um, simple in its design. Um, but it's really, really addictive. And of course, it's got some fantastic music there, um, courtesy of um, uh, David Sapphire, as I've already mentioned. Really, really sort of catchy tune. Sort of semi reminds me of um, a, a sort of toy we had for my daughter when she was um, just a baby in her cot. One of those little things you um, attach to the side of the cot and they can press buttons and occupy themselves during the night. But uh, And it played quite a catchy sort of simple tune but by the time she pressed it 500,000 times it got a little bit um, much but this the, these tunes don't they're really really good well done again David and another really nice touch when you drop a terrapin off at home uh, the home base home base or B&Q or whatever uh, really really crap joke there you will see that little graphic in the bottom right corner the terrapin holding his thumbs up will wink and that's been provided by Craig Howard and that is a really really nice touch I really really like that it's a great game now I asked um, Alan a few questions um, in relation to how you are going to be able to get hold of this game um, you can get it through his website which is um, linked in the description box below and it will cost you <coughs> excuse me <coughs> $1.99 which is less than two quid. And if you want the physical tape version, it's available through Chronosoft's website for a fiver. Now, very, 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 very good prices there. You know, <coughs> nowadays we'd spend an awful lot more on a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One game, you know, that's really incredibly crap. Um, and I don't think we should begrudge um, being asked to, to sort of contribute um, uh, towards a little bit of pocket money for game authors when they're creating stuff in their own time, etc. Um, for us to play and enjoy, and I have been playing um, Terrapins quite a bit and really enjoying it.
Um, so yeah, those are the options available if you want to get hold of this game. You know, it's not a free download, but at the same time, you know, it's not an awful lot to ask. I'm sure we could all spend uh, spare a couple of quid um, just to keep the incentive going. Now, it took about two months um, to come up with. Like I said, it's based um, on the Turtles arcade game. Um, which is a game I'm not familiar with so if any of you are please let me know and um, by the time you got the AI sort of up to speed etc yeah it was about two months I did write some notes down here um, da -da -da, whereas Invaders which is going to come up um, in a short while only took um, a weekend or so and, and to tidy it all up again only took uh, took a couple of weeks now what you get with Alan's products is whenever he makes a main game he also creates um, some mini games as well and when you buy the main game in this case Terrapins you always get one of the, the sort of mini games free so in effect you are getting two games for the price of one and you can't knock that at all so Terrapins is really actually a good fun game um, highly sort of recommend it I know there's already been other videos out um, about this game already um, but I'm just sort of like adding my little sort of a two penneth to it because I like to sort of uh, you know champion the efforts of the homebrew scene if I can get um, more people interested in these games then my mission has been a success now there's been an awful lot of um, games released this year the specy scene seems to be really 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 strong I don't know if any of the other sort of big eight bits uh, you know the ones I mean from the um, uh, the 80s and early 90s etc have quite as big a homebrew scene um, nowadays as the spectrum does but um, hey ho it's all good if they do right um, we're going to move on very, very shortly to Invaders, or Invage, Inv A-G-D, us. It's a bit of a mouthful. Invagders, Invadgers, uh, Invagers, Invagers, that's how I say it. No, it isn't. Invagders. Right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, really, really um, great game. Terrapins is a lot of fun. You can play it as well in... Um, a ULA plus mode but um, unfortunately Spectaculator doesn't um, support that so I'm not able to um, show you that at the moment and if you also download it you also get Terrapins RX which is a cross between Terrapins and Rally X now one thing I suggested was this game sort of like was reminiscent of um, Splat if you remember that one um, and I wondered you know would it be any good if the, if the, the actual mazes were bigger but scrolling um, in the way that Splat did, you know, it constantly scrolled and you had to keep up with uh, the direction it was going in. But unfortunately, AGD um, cannot um, support scrolling, which is a shame because, um, you know, um, I, I think that would have been a nice idea. But even so, it's still uh, a great game. Now, here we are. I've rabbited way over the um, introduction to Invaders. Basically, very, very simple. A Space Invaders clone. Now, Craig Howard has provided those excellent sort of um, background graphics that you see there that reminiscent of the uh, the old um, arcade cabinet itself and it it's, it's what it says on the tin basically you know it's a it's a little um, space invaders game it's very very nice um, it's got all the sort of uh, mechanics um, of it and you know it's very 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 easy to play um, and it's a good way of killing sort of uh, five or ten minutes, you know, breaking up the monotony of um, whatever else it is you might have been doing at the time. Now, one thing I forgot, I've got to go back to Terrapins, is the control system, QAOP and space. Um, or you can use various joysticks, etc. QAOP, up, down, left and right, as you would expect. And space either plants a bomb. In fact, that's what space does. It plants the bombs when you actually have them. Um... So, there we go. That's this sort of double review of um, this really, really excellent package that's been put together for us by Alan Turvey. Um, and also, big thumbs up to the assistance that's been provided to him uh, by David Sapphire and Craig Howard, because they've really put um, the cherries on top of a very nicely iced cake, if you know what I mean. Okay, there's um, not an awful lot more I can waffle on about, um, about this, so I am going to do what I uh, very rarely do, which is shut up. Okay, so that's it from me. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you like the video, let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. If you do subscribe, please make sure that you take the time to check out um, uh, uh, and join in the discussion in the comment sections. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.